Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Talking today about locating the ball on the overhead. Uh, first and foremost, we gotta decide if we're hitting it out of the air or off the bounce. But a lot of times, even if we move great, we can miss overheads because we're not standing in the right position in relation to the ball and in relation to where we wanna make contact. Okay, so I've got a couple drills I want you guys to do to help get you better at locating the right spot to be for the overhead. All right, so the first of which, I'm gonna just toss the ball up for myself, okay? And this I will let bounce. And what I should be able to do with my racket in kind of setup position is I should be able to catch this ball with an outstretched left hand, okay? And if I can do that, I'm simulating a great location for my actual overhead. All right, so here, I'm just gonna toss the ball high to myself. Okay, I should move around, and I should be able to catch that ball with an outstretched left hand. Because what that means if I'm actually hitting the overhead is I'm in perfect position to outreach and hit down on the ball. One mistake I see a lot, if you guys were to do this drill and not do it correctly, is the ball would come up and you guys would let it drop a little too far, either with your elbow bent, you know, maybe you're catching over the top, but this arm, this left arm is low, which in my actual overhead produces a point of contact that's low, and now I have a big issue, because I'm trying to hit down and most likely gonna hit in the net. Okay, so let's see that again. I toss up to myself, let it bounce, be able to catch it with an outstretched left arm. That is a great location for hitting my overhead, okay? Then the next drill, I'm actually gonna have Mark hit me a couple, and this would be more for the out of the air overhead, okay? He's gonna throw in a couple high. I'm gonna do the exact same drill, but I've gotta be able to do this without letting the ball bounce. And it's okay if you guys drop the ball a couple times. It's not about motor skills, it's just about location. So, so long as my left hand is outstretched and the ball at least hits my hand I'm in a great position to hit my overhead. Okay, so here we go. Here comes the ball. Okay, and you can see that left arm is outstretched. The ball hits me in the hand. Here's, here's how I would possibly see some of you guys do this wrong. You're waiting, you're waiting, you're waiting. It gets too low. And this is where a lot of you guys would be catching that ball, producing an overhead that's cramped and, and producing a hit into the net. Okay, so one more time out of the air. Here we go, I get that left arm outstretched and you can see I had to move back a little bit there. And again, that's location. Had I just stood here, my arm would have been over my head and I'm in a pretty bad spot for the overhead. Okay, so now I wanna produce that same feeling on the actual hit. So I'll do one off the bounce, I'll get that left hand into a great spot and instead of catching it this time, I'm gonna actually make my swing, okay? So off the bounce, left hand's up, I feel like I could grab it, and then I just swing at it, okay? Really nice hit right there. And here's the out of the air ball. I get to a position where I feel like I could have caught it, but instead I swing, okay? So that is the location I want you guys to practice to produce a really solid overhead. All right, so we hope that was helpful. Please click like below this video, and if you guys happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.